<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what a poorly balanced extreme demon does to you. Phobos doesn't exactly have a good reputation. It's known for being unbalanced, unfair, buggy, and just plain evil. And I learned that all the hard way. I went against the advice of my friends and pursued this level for the simple reason of... I like the song. What a mistake. I'd say that Phobos has four major choke points that make it miserable to play. Number one being the 13% UFO. Although this part may not look terribly hard, I assure you the click pattern required to get through this part is extremely awkward for no reason. It literally took me hours to even learn how to do this part. I think it also represents the fact that all of the creators in Phobos had absolutely no plan whatsoever with this level. Every part is drastically different in difficulty. Right away, this level starts off with suspiciously easy gameplay for an extreme demon. Then randomly at 13%, there is the hardest UFO part ever made for its time. Then back to just regular extreme demon gameplay again. Not to mention, this creator made a critical error by moving the UFO portal up a little bit too high, causing this visual bug. It really isn't until 36% where things start heating up again. This wave part is so evil for no reason, and it's mostly because of this specific gravity portal. It is angled in the most awkward position possible for the wave to spam and then go downwards in time without dying. Literally, if this portal was rotated like 10 degrees, it would be so much more fair to get through. It goes to show why you really need playtesters for your level, because a small error like this can really ruin a part. Phobos playtest! Testers, step forth and be recognized. The third major choke point is all of 58 to 62 percent. It begins with the worst transition ever created. For whatever reason, every time you enter this dual portal, there is like an 80 percent chance that the mini ships will be misaligned and make it physically impossible to straight fly with both of them. Literally, the only strategy I found that can counteract this bug is by entering the dual portal at this specific point with upwards momentum. Having a luck-based transition this far into the level is never a good thing, especially with an extra long level like Phobos. And to make matters worse, it is followed by this. An asymmetrical ball and UFO duel. These two game modes do not deserve to be together. Even after beating this level, I still couldn't tell you how this duel works. It felt like no matter how much I practice it, I still just could not find a way to get through it consistently. Like, why am I dying? I don't know why I'm dying. I don't know why I'm dying. And that time. It feels like no matter what I do, something goes wrong, bro. It's often debated over whether Bloodbath or Phobos is the harder level, but honestly, this 4% portion alone, I think gives Phobos the crown here. It is genuinely so unfair and frustrating that it almost made me quit the level entirely. Especially because every time I did get through this duel, I would get nervous and fumble the next part, which isn't nearly as hard. There is no worse feeling than getting really far in a level, getting past all of the hard parts, and then dying to something easy and stupid after it all. Oh my god! So I mentioned that Phobos has very inconsistent difficulty, but that's only part of it. Phobos also has very inconsistent decoration. Literally every part looks vastly different, which becomes especially obvious in the later half of the level. Take a look at this part. It's a pretty cool, red, hellish theme. So naturally, the next part should fit a similar theme, right? WRONG! This is Phobos, where the creators literally had no plan, no direction, nothing. They just built whatever they felt like. This hell-themed part is followed by... This! Cyan, red, purple, and gray. I mean, seriously, who let this guy cook? Honestly though, despite being one of the more challenging parts of the level, it's one of the only fair parts. It rewards you for your timing skills, unlike the fourth and final choke point. Let's do a little pop quiz. I want you to try to guess what the next choke point is. Is it this tight ball section? This moving object hell UFO part? This robot transition with a line through the middle of it for no reason at all? Or perhaps this invisible ship maze? Tell us, viewer. Just watching this part, you may not be able to tell why it's so hard, but maybe hearing the clicks will help you. You hear that? 
that is what is known as a double click. You're forced to click with both a mouse and a keyboard with very specific timing to jump through this gap. And let me tell you, it is not easy when you suddenly have to use both hands playing Geometry Dash 80% through an Extreme Demon. It'll really bring blood for the Blood God. After this, you have a pretty crazy straight fly, then a surprisingly simple ship maze at the end. Nothing too crazy and nothing you should really die to from zero. Unless you're me. <laughs> that was so easy. That was so easy. Y'all know how easy this part is. Watch, I'm about to get it through in one attempt. I'm telling you, bro. Oh my god, it's so easy. That's all I had to do, chat! That's all I had to do! That's all I had to do! What made this fail especially bad is that I somehow got this far only my second time past 70%, and then it took me two weeks to ever get this far again. I seriously don't know what went wrong. I was able to get through the first half of the level without too much struggle, and after intense practice, I got pretty good at the second half of the level as well. But for whatever reason, I just could not connect the two halves, it just wasn't happening. I just kept failing over and over at the same exact choke points, and naturally, I got pretty frustrated and... I even considered giving up. And then like stuff like that happens, dude. I hate, I, I think I wanna drop this level. I'm so serious, chat, should I drop it? Yes or no? I think I should. I'm really over this level. I don't, I'm not having fun. I'm literally not. Every day I assumed that I would probably beat the level that stream because I was already so close. Hello people from the future watching the replay of the stream. How's the future going? Hopefully in the future I've beaten Phobos, but uh, in the present, that's absolutely not the case. I failed at 92% two days ago. I know yesterday I said I wanted to beat Phobos, but I'm hoping today, in the future, that I beat Phobos. I hope I beat Phobos. I've been saying that for the last three days, but I don't know. We're in the final stretch now, right? But I have a really, really good feeling about today. I have a great feeling about today. I am ready to go today. I am ready to go. We're gonna make it happen today. It's been too long. I hope in the future I've beaten Phobos. So right now it's not looking so good. So Phobos, it's been giving me some issues, hasn't it? It's been giving me some issues. But I'm hoping today is the day that I can beat Phobos. Maybe. But I did not give up. With the support of everyone watching the streams, all of the generous donors, all of the memes, we did it. We pushed through. And after a painstaking 17,176 attempts, I did it. I beat Phobos.
<laughs> did I just be? Did I? I got a color. I'm brown. I'm brown. <laughs> oh my god. I'm brown. I got a color. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Finally. Oh my god. Oh. Congratulations, you have completed one of the hardest mega collabs in GD. Oh my god, that was a nightmare! Don't play this level! I beat Phobos finally! Oh my god, finally! Oh my god. Oh, Phobos, I've been waiting to do this for a long time. For the first time ever, I'm giving a level a thumbs down.